Thanks, guys. We're going to get started with the questions now. Okay guys, we're out of time unfortunately. Thank you very much for attending. Apologies if you were unable to get a question in. It is a game of massive significance. Only four teams remain in the hunt for the Carabao Cup. Who's going to come out on top in this semi-final? We're live on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome from the south coast of England. This is the scene here in Brighton. I'm Derek Gray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the second leg of this semi-final. It's Brighton and Hove Albion up against Crystal Palace. Well, the first leg was a really good game, Derek. It had action at both ends, it was an even contest and it's set up perfectly for this second leg. Hopefully we're not disappointed. And here's the Palace 11. Harry Maguire plays alongside Rob Holding in central defence. Jeffrey Schloop starts with Jefferson Lerma in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Jefferson Lerma. And a good tackle. Mount but superb defending. Jefferson Lerma. Well, the nerves are perhaps jangling a bit more than usual because it's his debut for the club here. Well, he'll certainly add some quality into that midfield area because he's a really good passer of the ball, which will hopefully give the front players the service there. Oh, they could finish here, Stuart. It could be up for grabs. Danger averted for now. Promising attack, this. Has a go! Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Oh, that's not a good clearance. Blocking it! Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is. Let's take another look. He deceives the goalkeeper really well here by getting to dive one way before placing it into the opposite side. A really good penalty. So underway again here. One nil to score.
Jean-Philippe Mateta. Eberechi Ezi on the ball. Good run, very much in control of the situation. Well, that's the sign of a well-organised defence. Welbeck. Kaoru Mitoma. Possession lost by Brighton. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Quilinci Hartmann on the offensive. Well, disappointing end to the move. Oh, that's a really good run. Well, plenty of power there, but in fairness, should have made the keeper work. He really should be working the goalkeeper there. It's a great chance to score. Well, he knows that could prove to be a big miss. This game's not over yet. Jefferson Lerma. Jeffrey Schrupp. Miranda. Jean-Philippe Mateta. Good tackle, take it away. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Mount. What can he do with it now? Opportunity. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved the goal. Moleiro. Miranda. Moleiro, good physical play. Oh, the threat is there. Looking for the right angle. Superbly read and executed. Anthony. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Cutting the ball back. Shot blocked, but still alive. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Will they shoot? The fans hope so. Can they create something? What an important piece of defending. Moleiro. Perfect challenge. close down the short well this is a great opportunity to extend their lead and just make things a little more comfortable who can they pick out oh danger here Tremendous defending to stonewall him. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Jefferson Lerma. 
Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Klein. Plenty of space for the Crystal Palace attack. And he takes it on. And keeping it out. And there it is, the half-time whistle. The first half action is over here on the south coast. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in this second half. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. And they do like to press whenever they can. And back with Alvarez, and nicely over the top. And space to cross it. I'll tell you what, that is really top-class defending. Ezzy. And the story now confirms Spurs have got their man, Stuart. Yeah, at that price, I think he's value for money. He'll certainly improve their squad and maybe the team. It's a good signing, you have to say. Seagulls losing the ball. Klein. Harry Maguire now. Passing it around as the search goes on for an equaliser. Still could put it away. Well, fantastic reflex action. Gallagher. Mount. Opportunity. Well, body in the way. Well, the goalkeeper making a big contribution and denying him another one. Well, it's another chance for him. As you said, he looks so hungry for goals today. Effective challenge. A quick reminder, we'll have FA Cup fourth round action coming up for you live. It's Brighton and Hove Albion facing Arsenal. Well, the cup always whets the appetite and that one's no different. It should be a really good game. Crossing opportunity. display is this the moment oh back in the net and a debut goal to boot it doesn't get much better than that well just look at this again he's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going of course the defending could be better but that's a great individual goal So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Just a quick reminder, we'll have FA Cup fourth round action coming up for you live. 
It's Crystal Palace facing Brentford. Well, it's great to have a break from the league for the players and the fans. Everybody loves this competition, and so do I. It should be a good game. Into the final 20 minutes. Anthony, can they create something from here? Throwing coming up for Brighton. Mount. Shot attempted. Reading it well. Was an important piece of defending. And that's great work to keep it in play. Jean-Philippe Mateta. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Well, oh, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? Who's going to win this joust? Klein. And he loves drifting in off the flank. And that will be a corner. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Can someone get on the end of this? Just wanted to get it out of there. Holding. And a tidy ball. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, they win the throw following that challenge. And that is going to be a free kick. Good ball over the top, and still dangerous. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Good distribution. What a vital intervention. Klein. Eberechi Ezi on the ball. Jeffrey Shrub. Sloppy in possession from Palace. Nice weight on the pass. Oh, it's off the post! Well, that's a sad end to the attack. Klein. And Lerma. Jean-Philippe Mateta. Harry Maguire now. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Just the challenge that was required. The referee's whistle, and it is official. The hosts are going to the final. Yeah, they were decent over the two games. They created lots of chances, they played with great energy, and they had a well-structured game plan. They'll certainly be confident going into the next round. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.
Hi, sorry, can we just grab a moment of your time? No, no further questions, thank you.
Our camera lens trained on one man. Three goals in three games, a nightmare for opposing defenders. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from London here on EA TV. home of Arsenal here in North London and everything points to an exciting contest. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson and we have live action from the FA Cup to bring you today. It's Arsenal facing Brighton and Hove Albion. Well there's nothing like a good cut run to boost confidence and these two teams will be hoping this could be their year to win this tournament. Yes there's a long way to go but this is still a big game for both teams. chance and the keeper there to deal with it quite the catalogue of great saves and that the latest one and a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield and the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus Kaoru Mitoma. How can he take them on and beat them? Opportunity to deliver the cross. Dahoud. Textbook defending inside the box. Jakub Kivior. Gabriel Jesus. Bukayo Saka. Martin Odegaard. Leading it through, but can't avail himself of the chance. Will he be disappointed with that? Maybe it's just come a bit too early for him. <laughs> Not much time to make up his mind. Well, that's common sense refereeing to play advantage. Well, there's been quite the focus on him coming into today's game. The rumours have been confirmed. He is elected to end his illustrious career at the end of this campaign. A massive loss oh, for the... Derek, can he finish it here? Tremendous defending to stonewall him. And space to attack. Chance to put them in front. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Are back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Well, spot on with that challenge. Well, plenty of talk about him from the pundits coming into today's match. If reports are to be believed, but... and he might be through here. Well, nothing about that chip was very positive. Well, I'm not sure that was the right option. It's a really wasted chance.
Terry Glanty. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Martin Erdegaard. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. A really good pass. And he's through here. Well, he was on his own, but couldn't take advantage of it. Well, I'm not surprised he missed that. He never really looked in complete control, did he? in so dangerously with that tackle now the referee is the man everyone's looking at and he's been dismissed this will be a real test of their defensive resilience well he had to go didn't he they'll need to reshape their defense quickly here so a personnel change then And fired from the flank into the area. Chance to finish. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough. So the ball rolling again at 2 0. Martin Erdegaard. And back to Partey. Not out of the woods yet. Well, no damage done. Gallagher. This attack looks highly promising. A really top-notch piece of defending. Well, half-time almost upon us, and playing away from home isn't bothering them in the slightest. Stuart, how about your take? Yeah, they're playing... Now, hold on, Stuart, they're in here. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Ferguson and threading it through and he could cash in in position he had to score and he does well here it is again it's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Hakimi. Party. Now with Akimi. Thomas Partey. Hakimi. Now with Jesus. Hakimi. And a chance here. Hakimi! Ferguson. Mitoma. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, three minutes to be added on. Good-looking sequence. Really fine play to keep possession. Well, capable of a better clearance than that. 
Very much run of the mill as saves go. So half time, that will close the book on the first half here at the Emirates. Well, Martin Odegaard not making quite as much noise out there on the pitch as perhaps we anticipated, Stuart. Well, I've been disappointed with his game so far. As those touches show us, he just hasn't been getting into the right sort of areas. That's got to be improved if they're to get back into this one. And the second half has begun here in North London. March. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Now can they counter clinically? Declan Rice. Bukayo Saka. It's with Erdogan. Gabriel Jesus. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Well, there's been so much talk about a potential transfer, but it's potential no more. It's fact. Yeah, at that price, I think he's valued for money. He'll certainly improve their squad and maybe the team. It's a good signing, you have to say. Possession seeded by Brighton. Yuri and Timber. Dahoud. Nicely. Will he find the net? And there is the goal to make it a hat trick. Excellence in finishing. There for all to see. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. Goals and plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Oh, this is looking promising. That's how it looked, but full credit to him for atoning for the error. Now, can they hit them on the counter? Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Arsenal facing Middlesbrough. Well, they're being outplayed here, and the fans are not happy. They need to show more urgency now. Dahoud. Mount. And hit with ferocity. It was close, but not quite good enough.
And time for the change now. Tomiyasu being pressed here. Possession ceded by the Gunners. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Brighton and Hove Albion facing Fulham. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. March. Failure to keep the ball on the part of Dahoud. How can he take them on and beat them? Textbook defending inside the box. Hakimi. On to Jesus. Could be a chance to break here. Well, it was a good counter-attack in the making, but very alert defending. Ferguson. Oh, fancy footwork. And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Well... No wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. 15 minutes left for play. Martin Odegaard. Now with Hakimi. This could be troublesome. Well, full marks for trying, but very deftly cut out. Mitoma. Good visualisation and execution. Well back! And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. And the right place to cut out the pass. Well, the final whistle approaching, and this has certainly been an away day to remember. Stuart, your assessment? Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attacking play. I think they've looked an outstanding well, team today. Oh, look at this, they must score! Couldn't grab hold of it! Threat over for now, it seems. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Tariq Lamptey. Read it superbly to take back possession. Well, good run and good ball control. Just needs to get it out of there. 
And very deftly cut out. Hakimi. Able to skip past his man. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. Not an especially strong challenge. Opportunity! And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. He's driven in the corner. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. There's the final whistle. The travelling fans are full of the joys because they are moving on. Well, the result was never in doubt, was it? They controlled the game from start to finish. They created numerous chances and they dictated the tempo. A very comfortable win for them in the end. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, his movement was brilliant today. Whether he was running in behind or dropping into pockets of space, he caused all sorts of problems. What a good hat-trick that was. Just a couple of questions for you. Thanks very much.